so this is a complex cyst with internal echoes and multiple septa and echogenic areas within this replacing almost all of the left thyroid lobe this is the longitudinal section this is the common carotid artery and you can see these are septa this is a septa and the echoes within it the, and thick echogenic band without any shadowing within this cyst and also small cyst within this cyst multiloculated multiseptated so this is also eco field cyst thyroid left thyroid gland is totally replaced by it almost now this is the left thyroid gland only a small rim of thyroid gland is seen whereas from here onwards the we don't see any thyroid tissue so i will say that uh, the thyroid gland is almost uh, completely filled with uh, occupied or involved by this complex cystic area which has in multiple internal eco uh, internal septations and uh, scattered islands of echogenic areas with the echogenic area is isoechoic in a sense that it has same eco, eco level throughout with no posterior shadowing whatsoever and a seco filled so this is in fact a case of having three different uh, pathologies first one was medullary sponge kidney second one was chronic liver disease and third is a complex cystic area replacing the left lobe of the thyroid gland so this is a case with multiple pathologies and i have done this ultrasound performed this ultrasound without any history clinical examination notes uh, no uh, lab investigations no invest other any other uh, investigative procedure whatsoever so in our society we really have to rely upon our own clinical knowledge and the knowledge we have gained with experience in sonology so this is what is the uh, what are the findings in this pa one single patient that is number 1 i am going to repeat medullary sponge kidney second case the chronic liver parenchymal changes and third is this cis complex cystic area replacing the left lobe of the thyroid in total almost in total thank you very much